What is Gucci, everybody? Today, we're going to make a quick video about the Flash Hash in Ruby on Rails. Now, in a typical Rails application or any website you visit, something is established called a session. Now, a session is what saves certain values that, is, that are persistent throughout your interaction with that website. For instance, if you log in, every page you load or revisit you don't need to re-log in and it's and that is because you've established a session with the website so that every time you you reload a new page your credentials are checked that you are logged in and that you have that session and you're able to continue with access to the site well ruby on rails has a way of doing that they also have a way of displaying error messages and notices and this is through the flash hash which is a special type of session session instead of the session the flash being persistent throughout your visit to the web page like is any kind of session object the flash known as the flash hash is only displayed on the next page on the re on the redirection or loading of the next page so for instance if you try to save something and another page reloads it can then display an error or a notice so the flash hashes are instances that are cleared with each request. This means that values stored there will only be available in the next request, which is useful for passing error messages and notices. And this is also known as the flash hash, as I mentioned earlier. Earlier, Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to use this. If you can see here in my create action, I have a flash notice. And I am simply saying that if you fail to save a tweet, you're going to do a flash hash, your tweet was invalid. So I'm going to pass a flash notice to my next view, to my next action. So what this is going to do is it's going to then redirect to the new tweets path. You need to say, hey, I have a flash here, but you also need to tell your HTML about it. So, for instance, I'm going to go to my application.html.erb folder, and I am going to then show you guys how to access the flash hash. So, now we've created a flash hash, but we also need to display it to the user so they can actually see it. And the way we can do this is actually pretty nifty. So, what we can do is I can do a, we're going to do a, we're going to iterate through our flash hash, and we're going to do our name comma message so the name of the flash is like what I what the key I gave it so notice error user signed in you can give it any kind of key you want and that's the name and the message is the actual value of it so in this case I'm gonna give it a content tag which allows me to specif specify what kind of tag I want to give it and in a symbol I'm gonna give it a div tag then I'm gonna display the message in that div tag and then I can give it a class of name. So depending on what key I give this flash, I could then write CSS to maybe highlight it in red if it's an error. So I could give it a flash of key error or a flash of key welcome if it was successful. And this way, let's say you had an error and maybe a welcome message to be displayed at the same time, like the error was, you know, the payment, the account was created, but the payment, the credit card didn't work. You may have different things to display, and so I'm iterating through them all. You could just display the hash you know right away we're doing ha flash hash i said the flash we're doing flash you know notice like this right here and that would be good good too this is just a recommended way to do it okay so without further ado let's show an example let's just show the example here i have new and i have my tweets controller your tweets was invalid let's actually make the tweets able to be invalid and let's do that with validates presence of content so we can't just enter a blank tweet let's do that and let's do rails s oh, we already have the rails server running so i'm going to go back here to localhost 3000 i'm going to click new tweet i'm going to try submitting this form and we simply get a error that is <laughs> undefined local variable 
and we're gonna go back here and I know the reason why we actually got that and the reason is because I did new tweets path when it should be new tweet path so we're gonna go back to new tweet I'm gonna try to submit it and this flash hash came up your tweet was invalid so now since I submitted an invalid hash the page reloaded but with this message now, your tweet was invalid. So then I could style that with my CSS or whatever I wanted to. So that's pretty cool. And that is flash hashes. Post if you have any questions. I'll have a link below for some help.